Hello everyone, it's FCA. This is going to be a, a tutorial. Um, this is going to be a nice brown kind of. Let me see if I can get to see the color properly. There we go. For a second, anyway. Um, it's just a brown neutral look. It's really good for any eye color. It kind of brings out browns and oranges. Bring out blue eyes, and they also bring out green eyes or amethyst eyes. Um, brown looks very toned and um, complementary, not complementary, but um, symmetrical to brown eyes. So, <clears throat> we're going to get started. I already primed my lid with Urban Decay Primer Potion, and the first color we're going to use, lots of browns and lots of different brands today. Um, this is Moroccan. Let's see if you can read this one because it's on the top. Mm, nope. Try as I might. But this is just um, from Coastal Scents. It was one of their little samples that they sent me when I ordered palettes from them. And this is really nice. It's a loose pigment and it's just kind of a droppable, light shimmery brown. And we are just going to... Let me move this. I'm just going to put this on the inner portion of the lid. Pulling it towards the middle a little bit. And if you can, try to avoid your crease and bring it to cover most of the eye, but not all of it. Um, most of this middle part is going to get covered, but it makes a really nice undertone uh, for the next gold that we're going to use. Oh, I dropped the brush. Hey. Who are you talking to? My camera. <clears throat> Next I'm going to use this little um, kind of a filbert style brush and I'm going to use Max. Um, this doesn't really have a name, but it was from their um, Surf Baby collection, their Crushed Metal. I'm going to use the gold. And I find that this is kind of a hard color to work with. It's kind of weird. Because it like comes in chunky nuggets and blah. But anyways, we're gonna cover. We're gonna cover our lid with that, the rest of the lid, and we're also going to. It's such a difficult color to work with with a brush, but I don't want to get my hands all dirty today. But it's a really nice color once it actually applies and we're going to put that in the middle we're kind of reversing the coverage of the first color like that a nice shimmery gold then we are going to take a big fluffy brush and Moroccan again that's the if I didn't say it, that's the name of the first color that we used that coppery pigment shimmery like just need a little tab of that don't need that much oh my goodness tap 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 and we're just going to kind of cover that again in the middle to kind of blend those colors I don't care what method you use, I'm not a professional. I just do whatever seems to be working at the moment. <clears throat> um, let's see, put the cap on that. Then we are going to take a tapered crease brush. This is from Coastal Scents. And it's just kind of a badger style brush. And we're going to take another, this is, I got this from thebodyneeds.com. And this color is called... Autumn. I don't know if you can read that. I don't think you can. I always pretend like you can, even though I consciously know you can't. But this is just a dark brown, and such a fitting name, isn't it? Autumn. That's nice. And we're just going to push this into the crease. And pull it under our very corner. 
of our lat of our lower lash line. Very pretty. Also, I did already do my foundation, but I recommend not doing your foundation because now I have all kinds of fallout all over the place. I need a fan brush. And we're going to tone down this outer edge because this is kind of far. But it's okay. We're going to fix it. <clears throat> Then the last color that we're going to use is our highlight color. Um, this is Sand and Sun from the MAC Summer Collection a couple years ago. It's just a dark, kind of a damp, peachy sand color. We're just going to use that as our highlight. Um, I didn't want to pull too far from the round theme that I was going with and this is um, a few shades darker than my skin tone I'm a very fair person pull that down just to lighten up that outer edge a little bit so that it matches that one fun then we're going to take a thin brush. This is just a little pink brush that I got for like 89 cents at my school. And we're going to use, this is Max Pink Opal Pigment. I'm just going to dip the brush in there. And I like using this. You could use vanilla or whatever you wanted. As an inner corner highlight, just kind of pull that up into there. And I like to use this one because you know the leaves change color and it kind of has a um, color change kind of aspect to it. It has a bit of a pink undertone which is kind of fun with the changing of the colors because I like that. <clears throat> then uh, we are going to curl our lash. No, we're not going to curl our lashes. I'm going to find where my eyeliner went. I have everything out in front of me and then it disappeared. Aha, uh -huh, here it is. Aha. Uh -huh. This is um, a medium pencil from Illamasqua. I'm not tugging on my eyelid, I'm just kind of holding it still. I'm not pulling down on it. And this is in the color Elate, if I didn't say that. Then we're going to curl our lashes and add mascara. I'm going to be using um, Maybelline's Colossal Mascara. I need to get a new one. I'm pretty sure that it's hit its six month mark. So don't do that to yourself. Right. Sorry, I'm trying to get into the habit of doing my lower lash line first. Um... And I know I do my mascara method all wrong. All wrong. But we will all live. So that's fun. Then for cheeks, um, I'm going to use two colors. This is from Hard Candy. And this is called... Um, tropical Paradise and it's just a nice shimmery gold and I'm just gonna lightly sweep that on my cheeks and put it down my nose a little bit and on my chin my temples I don't know how well you'll be able to see that on camera and then to add kind of a pink to my cheeks um, because that is just a light color just where the highlight area is. For the actual blush color, I'm going to be using Max Petticoat. I 
because it does have some gold in there it has some raspberry streaks so it has kind of that color changing aspect as well and then finish off with your favorite lip color or lip gloss i am probably going to go with this also came from the Surf Baby collection. This is Crazy Kahuna. And it's just a brown raspberry kind of a color. So nice and neutral and it just reminds me of fall um, more than summer. And yes, so I hope you all enjoyed this tutorial and I will talk to you later. Bye!